today we are going to make a beautiful peacock and a pn sitting on a tree in evening so let's start so first we need we need a a my pen pencil eraser crayons and some color pencils so now take the pencil and make a triangle like shape in like this yeah perfect now on this side make a little branch where the peacocks and the pen will sit make sure that the branch is thick just make here a land like here and here too now when you create it make a partition here then now make the sun now for we have to add some we have to add some accessories to the river for that i will draw lotus so here i will draw this shape and again over here and here when done do with the other side here here hooray we have made our first lotus so let's draw its leaves Make here, make a cut. And continue the line, and here, hoopla! We have made our first lotus. We have to draw five of them. Uh, then, let's make it! Yay! We have made five lotus. Now, we have to make our important part of the drawing, the peacocks. So. First, we will draw a peacock-shaped body. Actually, the body will look like a swan, but it's not a swan. Make its tail, bring its tail here, and join the body here. Yes, we have made our peacock. Now it's turn for the pen. Now make do the same, but make the pen and centimeter smaller than the peacock. And like this. Yes, we have made our peacock spot. Now let's draw her beaks, eyes, crowns. Done. Now we have to add something on the tree. Guess it? Correct. We have to add some leaves on the tree. The leaves will look like this. Do here same also here. Yes, we have made the tree look more prettier than with the leaves. Now for the main pe male peacock, make the its feathers like this. When we have black bordered the drawing, the we will draw the male peacock's feather details. So for that we have to draw some circles for the male peacock's male peacock's details. Yes. Now we will erase these parts which we used for the tree. Yes. Make a small, uh, make a small feather on the pants. 
day. So yes, we have done our drawing. Now it's the last, the second last part to do it. We have to make it more beautiful by out black bordering, bordering the drawing. So here, yay, we have black bordered our drawing. So we have to erase the pencil marks to make it more beautiful. So, so I have erased the drawing. So it's time for the best part. It is coloring. So first we will start with the background. For the background, we have to color the sun. We have to color the sun with the yellow. We have to use the yellow color pencil. Make sure there is any there is an, any white places like this. We have to color all the place yellow. Yes, we have made our beautiful sun in yellow shade. So now I will do with the leaves. We will make the leaf color as orange. So take the orange color pencil and color it. As I said, there should be no white places in the area. and make the color a little bit darker and make sure we have to fill all the gaps like this and be careful not to make spread out the color on the river or the sky yes we have done our first bunch of leaves. Now on this side we have also some leaves. We have to also color these. You can also use oil pastels for coloring the leaves or coloring the sun. But I also recommend to use uh, pencil colors because they will smooth your drawing out and you can use to fill the gaps and etc. Make sure subscribe the video and click the like button. Done. I have colored both the leaves. Spread. Now, now for the peacocks. I will now take the dark blue or the indigo color. You can also take the indigo color because the dark blue and the indigo are slightly same. But if you are taking indigo, make do the color as, uh, uh, at don't press the color too hard. Make a hole over here for the thing. And do the same color for the make make a hole for the thing and for the body. So yes, we have made our peacock skin blue. 
Now we will use light blue color for the wings. Like this. It may look of different but it can make your drawing look more beautiful. Use the you can also blend a uh, blend a little bit or make the outline with the pen too. After you have colored with the sky blue, darken up the edges with the indigo or the dark blue. Yes. So we have our peacock's body done. Now for the beak, we need some or uh, yellow. Here and here. You can also shade with the orange. with the peel. Now for the peacock. As I told you make some holes for in the feather to make it make for the feather details. So it's the time. So for this color I will use yellow green and dark blue or pink. For with these three colors, I will fill the piece. So, take a pencil, make a mark like this. So here we have a yellow, here we have a green, and here we have a blue. blue. So, do with the same all the holes. You don't need to outline these because if you outline these, it will look a little bit ugly. Yes, I have drawn all the circles like this. Keep the pencil aside. Now take the yellow color and color the outer part. Now take green, color this part and take the blue. Look how beautiful it looks. Let's color all the feathers. First, let's make it blue on the end. Like this. You can also erase the lines after, after doing that. Take the green and put it in the middle like this. Try not put try not to put the color uh, uh, color outside because it will mix with the other colors. Yes, so we have colored the green for the yellow. You don't need to blend the colors because if you blend it will mix. Now we have to color the outer layer. The, for the outer layer, I will use dark green. So here is our dark green color. And slowly color the white. Make sure the color doesn't go in 
disciples. Prevent the color going into the circles. You can do slowly, slowly. the white part as it is. Color the white parts like this, this and this. Also shade the outer layers with the light blue if you are using the oil pastels. Yes, we have done the peacock and the peahen. Now we have to color the lotus. For the lotus, we also need the green to the leaf. So first, we do color the leaf. We have colored the lotus petals pink. Now for the tree, we will use the brown color for the trees. Now, color, I can tell you a trick to color the tree. You use strokes to color the tree, it will look more realistic. it will look more realistic because in oil pastels the in the broad broadity is very high because of that it can look a little realistic Yes, I have colored the tree. Now, 
for the ground. For the ground, I will here use the light and here the dark. So we can use for this process, we can also use oil pistols. For this, I am using oil pistols to make it a little quicker. Light dark over here and light over there. And border it like this and color it. Try. And press to make the white parts black. Yes, we have made the first lamp. And for the land, we need a little bit of shading to match the uh, match the river and the uh, land. And now we use the light one. I'm using light here because the peacock's peacock's uh, feathers is also dark, and it will not look dark. It will look like the feathers are extending till here. So I recommend here use to use here some light green or slightly a different color from you can use a different color. Yes. Now press the name a little smoother. Yes, now let's look very smooth. Now we will use the blue color to color the river. So here, so I have colored the river. So the last piece to color is the beautiful sky. For the sky, we will need the oil tasters. Because we have to blend the colors to make it more beautiful. So for that we need red color and orange color and yellow color. You don't have to use too much light or I can use, you can use this too much light. This, that is too much light, so you can use medium yellow from the oil pastels. Yes. These colors are needed for our last color piece. So, keep the colors aside. Take a pencil. And first, make three layers. Here, one layer. Here, we the red. And over here, here will be the orange, and here will be the yellow. So, let's start with the red. Over here is our red, and color this whole part. And here. So, we will color with the orange. So, here. So, we now have to color with the yellow. So, so we have colored it. Now it's time to blend the colors. So first take the red and mix with the orange. Yes. Now take the orange and try to mix with the red. If you don't know blending, you can you can copy this. Now press and do like this up down and up down. It will make red and orange color which will help it to blend the color. Yes, we have blended our colors. For final touch, use the orange and 
green, yellow, orange, and red for moon. And yes, we have blended orange and and red. Now it's done with the yellow. Take the yellow and the orange crayons here, like this, and put the orange in the yellow. Try not to put the color in the peacock because it will ruin it and get mixed. So for better finishing, you have to follow some rules. Now do it in the yellow towards the orange like this and make a zigzag line. So we can make a color using yellow and orange. Yes. Yes, we have done our drawing. Now for the final touch. In the sun you can see some colors have come. Okay. So color those parts. A proper shade. Yellow. And hooray! We have completed our drawing. So, how do you like it? For for more videos, subscribe and hit the like button. And see you next time.